If you can't decide, in case of emergency, aka not being able to decide what you want to play, pick Kane. Just, just play Kane. That's 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 my choice of uh, choice of character today, and that's what we're doing, baby. We're playing some Kane. Love this guy. Love this little fella. He's he's goofy. He's he's only got one eye. He's uh. Is there? There's there's got to be a name for like the one eyedness right? There's like a like a medical condition name for pretty much anything. I I don't know what it would be called, but I'm sure there is like mono something something monoculism, Mon monoculism I guess. <laughs> now that I think about it. That, that probably makes makes sense. Although, why is it called a Cyclops? Why do they call, like, the, the mythical, like, Greek creature, why is he called a Cyclops? Or if you're, you know, that type of person, the, the Marvel hero. What, what, like, what, what, what is Cy- is that, like, the, the Greek? Isn't- I thought Mono was Greek. I thought that was, like, the Greek word for one. Maybe- maybe I'm just, like, stupid. Also, Monoculism is- that's- Monoculus, that's the- that's the damn boss from TF2! That's the Halloween boss! Oh god, Dude, I'm getting all twisted up here, man. I, I'd spent so much time without having to think about TF2, and now I have to think about it again. God, I was having such a good- I was having such a good week, and now I've thought about TF2, and my week is ruined. I'm joking, of course. I like that game. It's probably one of my favorite games of all time, but also, just like uh, every one of my favorite games of all time, I apparently have a kind of complicated relationship with it. Actually, it's pretty much the only one of my favorite games of all time that I have a complicated relationship with, but whatever. I thought this was Mom's Bracelet for a, re a second, I was like, why can't I pick up rocks? <laughs> my brother in Christ, you do not have Mom's Bracelet, you have Suplex. This is what you use to, well, kill enemies, instead of pick up rocks. It's a vastly different use case. Extraordinarily different. Although it is funny because you can grab bosses too. I wonder if I can grab Pin. I totally can, and then I can, like, throw it down, and, okay, I mean, that's kind of weird. What if I do this, and then just, like, dunk right on here? Oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's Omega dead, that's what happens. Yo, Brain Worm! Holy crap! That's one of the few trinkets I'll absolutely give up the paperclip for, which is also a goaded trinket, by the way. Wait, can I slam dunk you over here, please? Thank you. I know it's called a suplex and not a slam dunk. I'm no, I'm no wrestling aficionado. There was like a brief phase where me and the boys would watch some WWE every once in a while because one friend always forced us into it. He didn't force us, but you know, he, he got us into it for a bit and it was fun for a while and then like all the cool wrestlers that we liked <laughs> got fired, so nobody cared anymore. But yeah, that was like a brief phase in like 2018 or something. So I know like what a- I don't know what like, you know, I don't know what like the most basic wrestling moves are because I've watched people do them. Isn't it like funny? Do, do people still like for like professional wrestling, like you know, the, the show wrestling that WWE, AEW, whatever that they all do. Do people still use, oh it's fake as like a criticism? Like I thought that was well known by now, that like wrestling is for show. It's like, it's fake as in, yeah they're not actually fighting, but you know, they're still like performing the stunts. It's, it's a stunt show, it's basically a stunt show. They, they still, you know, they're not really trying to hit each other in the face, but like when they throw each other around and shit, they can very well still get injured. Uh, even if they're not, even if they're not like actually punching each other in the face or fighting, they are still at risk of injury. You still have to be in insanely good shape to pull off all those tricks. I mean, it's some athleticism being displayed there, right? It's impressive work. Hell yeah, I can buy tarot cloth. Hell yeah, I've been looking to do that ever since I walked in here the first time. What's the card, baby? A chariot. Okay, well, I can use that against the boss if I so desire. However, I'm gonna slam dunk this little guy for a second, just because I think it's funny. And then I'm gonna use a chariot card on him, because I might as well. I will gladly take that. I can't believe I got my deal, by the way, which is... That's just insane to me, considering I got hit so much, but... I'll pass it up. I'll pass it up. Why wouldn't I blow this up, by the way? It's literally a free bomb. I trade a bomb for two bombs. There you go. Like, why wouldn't I just do that? I'm feeling like- I'm feeling like going a little goofier with the- the angels instead. Yo, purity is goaded. I gotta take that, and I got that damage aura. Don't mind me, I'm just living the best life, baby. Dude, look at this floor. It looks like a little cat or something. It's like, like a- like a tiny little, like, cat outline. And that ear's a little far back, I guess. Maybe it's like the hump on the back, I suppose. It's like a- like, it's got its back arched. It's a bit scared. That's cute. I completely forgot about suplex because I actually have good damage now. And they're offering me a Libra. Look, I don't like Libra, but at least I don't hate it as much as I hate Taurus. <laughs> uh, give me the mystery item. Alright, that's actually fine, you know what? If there's a floor I can redo, it should be this one, considering it's got the mirror side. This is the second best floor to redo, after, like, the chest or dark room. The thing is, the chest or dark room are so far away, 
And by the time I get there, I might not even want to redo them because I'd rather, like, I don't know, just end the run. <laughs> right? Maybe by the time I get there, I'll have such a crazy run that it won't even matter if I redo it, right? So, I think I'll just uh, redo this floor after I'm, after I'm done with it. I think that's totally fair. I'm just gonna absolutely annihilate Clog here. He's getting completely destroyed. It's just nasty DPS for what is effectively the second floor. Absolutely tremendous. Unfortunately, Brainworm is making some of my tears not hit him, but that's okay. The one time Brainworm is a little bit of a downside. Did not get a deal. Not a surprise, to be fair. 14 rock clusters? Holy crap. <laughs> Wait a minute. If I use that in here, there must be like... Yeah, there's like a ton of tinted rocks. Holy crap. Use this to grab this. Okay, that's nice. And then, like, blow up every tinted rock in this damn room. Oh my goodness. How many tinted rocks can you get? This is incredible stuff. <laughs> that was like four tinted rocks. I think. No, five, six. I think it was six tinted rocks in total. I actually didn't count, but my god. <laughs> That's a lot of tinted rocks. And uh, I'm getting a ton of bombs as well to, like, fund this whole tinted rock business. And I got small rock out of it as well. Yeah, it turns out inverted tower card uh, can go kind of crazy when you have... <laughs> Taroclava. How many people can say they've gotten six tinted rocks in one room? I don't know, man. It, it's certainly not a common occurrence. That's that's for sure. And now the tears up don't hurt nobody. Okay, this is a uh, this is wonderful. Grab this and forget me now, baby. We go again. I'm having a strange sense of deja vu here. Another roll at the the angel deal as well, which is going to be wonderful. What are you hiding from me? What secrets do you have? Another tears up I'll gladly take. It's much better than thunder thighs, that's for sure. I would not have wanted that. What do you have in here? Eh. Eh. <laughs> Garbage, that's what you have. Absolutely nothing of value. Uh, the mirror side. You know what, let's do this first. I'm the soul right now, I don't have to backtrack later. Might as well do the mirror side right now. I think I'm pretty ahead of the curve when it comes to my damage output right now. Uh, you know, 11 damage and almost tear cap breaking tear rate. Uh, or tear cap reaching much rather. I'm doing pretty good in, in terms of damage output, plus every tier is guaranteed to hit because of uh, Brain Worm. This is one of the most sing like simply overpowered runs I've had early that doesn't have like a Q4. Like just by, sh by raw stats, this run is utterly broken right now. Who are we fighting? Wormwood. Cool. Love this little fella. I'm gonna feed him a bomb. That should kill him. There you go. Easy. These pills are gonna be good. I love to see that. Wait, okay, hold on. Uh, use this on the knife, please. Get yourself like some, I don't know, like a shot speed plus range up or something. That's usually what uh, the Void gives you, so the Black Rune works the same way, right? <laughs> Black Rune and Void are the same, that they work the same way, so naturally I'm gonna get a shot speed and range up. If it's any other stats other than those two, I'll be happy. What did I say? What'd I tell you? <laughs> Call me Nostradamus the way I predicted that one. No one ever saw it coming. It's all the Void does. So of course the Black Rune is gonna work the same way. You're gonna get shot speed plus range. <laughs> what a terrible item. Now arguably, I would argue the Black Rune is actually better than the Void. Because you can Void active items. Like you can turn them into stats instead of putting them into your, into your Void. I will die on the hill. That the while the voiding active items mechanic is cool, that you can like stack active items together, it has cool applications. 90% of active items in this game are so inconsequential or actively bad that you don't want to have them stacked into your void. Or they're just gonna be downgraded if you stack them into your void because they're gonna have a longer charge time. So there's like no point really. Like the only items worth voiding are ones with higher than six room charge or six room charge. Uh or items that have like a benefit to you when you just use it, right? But if you want to like save your charges as well, like if it's an item like a say a reroll item, then you don't want to void it at all maybe, or you don't want to use it too actively, right? So like the void is really hard to use effectively, and it kind of sucks in what it does for you. I can't believe I got hit like that, and now I lost my damage bonus. And yet my damage is still kind of good. Oh yeah, because of small rock, haha. <laughs> can't wait for the range aura to be the one that I get going forward. Can't wait for that to be the case. Hit the tears cap. That's pretty nice. Let's see if I can find my secret room. Never mind, I got my damage aura back. Dude, everything is just like nice right now, huh? It's like a beautiful day outside as well. I I'm happy. Life is good. I am swimming in money now. At this point, I might not even have to hang on to the two of diamonds. If I get more than 50 cents here, I can just use it and have in like money cap already. The only way this is going to get better is if I blow up these mushrooms and get magic mush out of it. Okay, well, that was maybe a bit ambitious. <laughs> There's a library here. That's crazy, bro. I actually get to, like, maybe take a new active item with me, which is cool. It's actually not Gideon. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it, guys. Can you believe it, guys? Gideon, just a week away. I'm so happy about this information. All right, there's my angel deal. 
What do you got for me, baby? Ooh. You know what? I'm I'm interested in taking an Eden Soul here. I'm not too attached to Necronomicon and Rosary does nothing for me. I've already hit the tears cap. So the an HP I don't need. So let's let's rock Eden Soul for once. Why not? It should be a fun item to use. I tend to not use it very often. Where's my shop? Where's my item room? That's the that's the stuff I'm looking for now. The good stuff. <clears throat> the good stuff. What's up with my fucking voice, man? I always have this after like I usually record after dinner. And after dinner, I always have this where, like, my, my throat is a little, like, not sore, but, like, croaky, right? I get, like, a little bit of a rough, rough throat for some reason. Even though I'm not dehydrated, I guess I always gotta drink plenty of water. <laughs> or maybe wait longer before I start recording. A little insight into my life there for you, in case uh, you were curious. I know absolutely nobody asks, so I uh, will just carry on anyway. I like the idea of this Awas rune giving me a... I think I misplaced that one. Yep, I... Skilly shoot? I literally skilly shoot on something as simple as placing down a, a trap door. <laughs> Whoops. Whatever, what was the crawl space gonna have? Mongo baby? There's a seed if you wanna check. <laughs> if you wanna tell me, I guess. If you're curious enough what that crawl space could have had, there you go. Yo, habit is huge. Does habit allow me to just charge Eden Soul? You know what? I'll take Aquarius. I'll take it. I, I like Aquarius. I like that they added synergies for it, which is pretty funny. I like, I like, I like some funky synergies. I had a feeling it'd be up here. This is also a funky place for a... Uh, for a secret room to be, that's for sure. Well, if there's ever a time to do this room, it's now to charge up some more Eden Soul, baby. Get some more charges on that bad boy. You know, usually you'll see me complain about having high shot speed. I ha for Brain Worm, it's actually kind of good. It actually kind of synergizes with Brain Worm, because, you know, the, the if the tears are too slow, with like the, the 90 degree snapping, the homing doesn't work as well. Normal homing doesn't have that issue, because the tears are constantly homing, but like Brain Worm tears only home in once. They only- oh well, this solves my problem as well. Well? You know what? I can redeem myself. We can still get the crawl space. I just gotta not mess it up again. There you go. Turns out we can still see what's down here. And it was hot bombs. So if your bet was on hot bombs, if you placed down a bet earlier when the roulette was open and you were like one in 738 chance that it is uh, this specific item, hey, you just won. I don't know how much. I don't know what the return would be. I guess one... The return would be 1 over 700 and I don't know how many items are in this game, probably like more like 8 or 900 even at this point. Curse of the Unknown, two floors in a row by the way as well. You know what, just give me Stack Dagger. Yeah, okay, that's actually the best choice there. I don't know what my HP is, but apparently it's full. <laughs> and that's... Honestly, that's all I need to know. As long as I'm not dying, I, uh, I ain't caring either. What do we got? Uh, honestly, I don't even want Samson's Chains. It doesn't have like the speed down anymore that it used to have in like... Uh, rebirth and shit, but it's just breaking rocks when you walk near them is actually annoying because a lot of the time you'll end up breaking like a mushroom or a bomb rock and you'll get hit in a stupid way. And you know, I want to avoid that happening. I already got hit, might as well go in here now. See if I can cycle my auras out even better. Luck up is huge. I got the damage aura, hell yeah. And let's fight the boss right now. This time around, it actually is Gideon, the greatest of the Gideons. Why is he so great? Like, why is he so fat? I don't know. I guess they just wanted to make him fat. Can you stop attacking and just summon the next wave of enemies, please? Thank you very much. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather you just do that. Yeah, just keep... Like, I'm actually killing the wave so quickly that he keeps summoning quickly. I like that. Okay, I got hit a bunch here. Who cares? Didn't get a deal. That's fine. It wasn't likely anyway. Man, these shops have not been all that, huh? Bombs a key. Literally, like, don't care. Uh, I mean, I might as well buy this and use it. I got, I got no use, like, for my money anyway, so... Honestly, I got no use for my damn money. Fucking donate a bit. If I got a luck up or something, that'd be cool. And if not, I'm just filling up my donor machine like crazy. That's also cool. And I still have a ton of money left. <laughs> like, I'm not even sweating it. It's all good. It's all fine. There's a sack room here. Maybe I still want to play it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to play it. I don't think I do. I don't think I'm desperate. The thing is, I just don't know my HP, right? But I think it must be crazy. <laughs> now that I think about it, I think my HP is crazy. There's so much lying around. No, why? Yeah, hold on. Why wouldn't I play this sack room? It's literally, like, free. I got, like, a ton of health, I think. I think I'm, like, full health. Maybe? Almost? Let's say I can hit this, like, six times easily without even having to worry about it, man. Let's do it. Screw it. Yo! Star Bethlehem. Huge. Anyway, my second key piece. Let's go. And I got the coin payout. Neat, I suppose. All the shops are gonna keep... Uh, being bonkers, I suppose. Love that I still have the damage aura, by the way. The most frequently showing up aura right now is the damage aura for me. That's absolutely wonderful. Open up this door. I got my damage aura. Huge. Might as well grab all the red hearts lying around. I got no reason to leave them. And we're out of here. 
Lovely, dude. Lovely. You know, it's like a like a thing that always freaked me out as a kid when they did like, you know, like when you're like in school or whatever, and like they do a little demonstration in like science class. The the, the fact that like most people can't do vastly different motions with their hands, right? Like the the one they always do is like try patting your belly with one hand and then rubbing your head in circles uh, with the other hand. You can't do it. One hand always inherits the motion from the other. And I guess whichever whichever one motion gets inherited is the one that your dominant hand is doing. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually how it works. I haven't tried it. But it's kind of like crazy, right? Like most people aren't like ambidextrous like that. It always freaked me out as a kid. Because when you think about it, when you're gaming, you're kind of doing different things with different hands. And yet, for some reason, like when playing this game, I have absolutely no problem with doing completely different things with both of my hands. I mean, I guess it's because they're very minor motions. I never thought about that. Like, is it because the the motions are very, like, highly different? Because all I'm doing is really pressing buttons. Even if I'm pressing them at different intervals or different speeds and, uh, you know, different directions. At the end of the day, the range of motion isn't particularly large, so maybe that explains why playing a game is very easy, even if you're doing vastly different things with, your, with both of your hands. But, say, you know, rubbing your belly and your head at the same time is kind of tough. There is the Bible, which gives me bookworm, and school bag, which means I get to carry it. Oh yeah, I should probably use this to get a crawl space. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. Oh, it's a black market, actually. That's also fine. I... I'm okay with this. I don't know what these items are, but to be honest, I got so much damage... P. <laughs> I don't know why I walked into that fire. I got so much damage P, I might as well just take him. Compass is cool. Starter deck is cool. Deep pockets is nice. Should give me two clubs, why not? Battery pack is cool as well, and uh, Mr. Me, which is probably better than the Bible. There you go, got some of my HP out of there. <laughs> For the time being, let's uh, fight these fellas. Oh yeah, right, I have Star of Bethlehem. It's gonna make this a bit easier, I think. Just a, just a tad, just a little bit. Yep, just a, just a little bit of a DPS increase, that one. Works pretty well. Caffeine pill. Cool, I love me a speed up. And another world card for the next floor, plus a mysterious angel item, which is Blood of the Martyr. I got golden keys, I can open all these as much as I'd like. Oh shit, I didn't mean to fight this guy. guy. Uh, not the troll bomb, not the troll bomb doing it. Oh hell no. Well, I suppose we're done with the floor. I, actually, I mean, I could play the demon. You know what, let's try to get the demon bearer to pay out. I'm not too worried about my HP, and I'm likely to fill it up again anyway, so I might as well have a look at what this guy's got to offer, right? Whoops, I gotta go around. Plus, I don't mind recycling my speed aura. Come on, dude. Please be good. Not, not good. <laughs> not, not very good at all. I cursed the blind again? What's when we get in the same curse twice in a row on this run? This happened like a couple floors ago. I got cursed of the unknown twice in a row. Now I got cursed of the blind twice in a row. What's the matter? Oh, there, yeah, I forgot these guys make creep. They're, they're a little annoying like that. What's my item room got? Oh yeah, I don't know. They made the right item this time. I am going to end myself. <laughs> really, dude? Oh, uh, fuck you, Curse of the Blind, man. Never should have doubted myself. Should have just gone for the damn left item. By the way, I got hit so much. I gotta actually be careful, huh? I'm actually doing kind of bad on HP right now. Oh, cool. Two items. Please don't be, like, bad. What did I tell you? I, I said, please don't be bad. And then you had the audacity, wait a minute, to give me a bad item. Can't Mr. Me grab this item for me? Let's go, dude. Wait, I can get that. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, I had a neuron fire. I was like, wait a minute, Mr. Me is useful here. What do we got in here? I can't believe I haven't gotten green shops, by the way. It's crazy to me. Battery's cool. Broken modem is broken. Uh, it's a great item. Let's fight mom. If I still had the Bible, this would be even funnier, but oh well. I guess I'll just use Star Bethlehem to make this easier. Yep, Star Bethlehem makes it absolutely trivial. Lovely. Let's go, let's go up today. Why not? Oh, finally, a room, a floor without a curse. And it doesn't matter that much on this floor. But oh well, a floor without a curse. Can you believe it, guys? They exist. There are floors that don't give you curses in this game. I know, I know. It's crazy. Scapular? I mean, technically like sack room abuse or whatever, right? Would have been useful earlier, but cool, I suppose. Oh, dude, so he's like an absolute, like, insane, crazy thing I read the other day. First of all, there's absolutely no way this is real or true. I just don't believe it, but it is so insane and, like, funny that I felt the need to talk about it anyway. Apparently, and the, like, the reason this is funny is because there's pretty much no way for you to verify it unless you're, like, insane. But, like, apparently... Fetishes and kinks can be inherited, or like much rather they are, they're like genetic to an extent or something. I, like somebody, at least somebody wrote that, and as you, as you know, everything you read on the internet is true. Every piece of information you ever read on the internet is factually correct, so obviously you have to believe it, right? No, but like apparently they're, you know, they can be inherited. But I just find it funny 
Because there's absolutely no way, well, for the first, for the, for, for the most part, that you would ever talk to another person about that sort of stuff. Maybe your partner, if they happen to be into the same stuff, but that's like it, right? That's, that's about it. You would never talk to anybody else about what you're into in that, in that regard, like sexually. Especially not your parents. <laughs> I feel like it's an awkward conversation anyway, but it would especially be an awkward conversation if you're having it with your damn parents. And the only way you would ever be able to verify this claim is if you talked to your parents about it, which is why it's so hilarious, because ain't no way anybody is doing that. Maybe on their damn deathbed, but I think that would only <laughs> exacerbate the problem that you're having in that moment, and I don't think that's the thing you're thinking of when you're talking to your parents on their deathbed. I feel like there's different things going to your head, through your head at that time, and if not, then seek God. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say at that point, honestly. You must have a terrible relationship with your parents, I suppose, and in which case, my condolences. But, you know, it is very funny to think about, like, if that is true, if that is true, like, fair enough, right? I can, I can see it being true. It doesn't seem completely unreasonable. But again, there's absolutely no way to verify that claim whatsoever, and I'm certainly not gonna try. <laughs> You're not gonna catch me trying to verify that claim. I will live with the fact that it is unverifiable information. It could very well be true, it could be misinformation. I don't care, because it's funny. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Is it being funny? I like things that are funny. <laughs> I'm holding on to this Chaos card, I don't know what for, I guess for Mega Satan. I just, you know, I don't get to use it very often, so getting to use it to like just annihilate Mega Satan seems kind of fun to do every once in a while. There is a crawl space right here, would you look at that? Mm-hmm, just a... Uh, some consumables, I, I get it, okay, fine. Another sack room, by the way. I'm kind of tempted to play it, to be fair. <laughs> I'm a little tempted to play it. There is a bunch of red hearts lying around. You know what? Screw it. I don't care about my eternal heart. I'm gonna play this. There you go. Ah, Spirit Destiny. That's it. That's all, that's all I'm worth? So much money, so little use for it. Anyway, Isaac, you are going to be killed. I'm going to murder you. Salvation is gonna go crazy on your ass. I'll just let Star Bethlehem do some work here as well. With my homing creep. All my homies love homing creep. That's why they're my homies, because they're homing. I, I'm spitting bars, evidently. Got a, a lyrical genius right here, man. Curse of the blind again? Are you kidding me? What the hell, man? All right, well, cool. Glowing hourglass, lost protector. Number one, that's a range down flat stone. Isn't there a flat stone synergies mod? If there's a flat stone synergies mod, I might as well install it right now. I've heard that there might be, so if there is one. I don't really have any of the items it synergizes with, I think. I mean, those are simple, I might as well install it. But I don't have any of those items yet, so I won't worry about it. Make me a crawl space right here, perhaps? No, uh, maybe like right here, there you go. Uh, what are you? Well, it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander, and I am both right now, the goose and the gander, except I'm not Ryan Gosling, I'm not quite the goose. That's what, oh wow, I can get more rock clusters? Okay, hold on. Are we gonna have another six tinted rock room? Maybe we are. That's what Goslings are, right? Goslings are like baby geese. He's literally me, Ryan Gosling. Literally me, uh, from from the movie Drive 2011 or whenever. I don't. When did Drive come out? I don't know. I'm not very tuned in with the Ryan Gosling memes. I'm sorry. Okay, this is the perfect room to use a tower in. Might as well use it right now. I can fly. It's no big deal. Although my tears can't. So actually, this was a bad idea. Oh well. Yeah, I should have really done this after I killed the enemies in here, so I didn't have to deal with the rocks. I don't have any damn spectral tears, man. I don't have anything to deal with, like shoot over rocks with. Half the time, these motherfuckers are floating over rocks and I can't hit them. Okay, oh, he dropped an item, which is forever alone. A Degas it removes all curses. Ah, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> if I encounter anything else on this run, this Degas rune will be uh, mentioned in the footnotes because, my god, it ensured that I'm gonna have a good time. I normally hate guillotine, but in this specific situation, because I have brainworm, it's not that bad. And also, it's massive stats, aka, like, it breaks the tears cap. Yeah, this damn- while the damage up on this run is alright, like, it's fine. It isn't crazy, man. It, it's it's not insane. I'll, I'll open you. Ugh. So, like, this run would probably struggle at killing Mega Satan, which makes me very happy to have the Chaos card. Now, I don't remember if the Chaos card instantly kills him or if it can only one-shot one of his phases. Salvation, I, I unironically, is helping my damage output, which is sad. Yo, it is conjoint, though. That's huge. Maybe this run is going somewhere after all. Maybe we don't have to use the Chaos card. Maybe this is totally fine. Conjoint just, like, bumped the damage up on this, like, crazy. Let's kill Blue Baby real quick. Why not? This should be pretty easy. Again, I built the Salvation Aura, which means it's massive now, and uh, there's a lot of damage. 
Ah, watch out. Don't run into him for no reason. A couple more chests for my troubles. I know three luck isn't like crazy, but it's good enough. I guess chests are just not meant for me to, uh, today. It's not meant to be. Ah, yes, secret rooms, of course. I always forget. Yeah, it's not meant to be, huh? There's there's nothing nothing crazy going on. Not every run needs to be crazy. This run was kind of crazy to start with, so that's fine by me. We've got... Oh, yeah, we got Star Bethlehem. Maybe I don't need the Chaos card after all. I got Star Bethlehem. I got Mr. B to help me out as well. He's gonna, he's gonna go ham on this guy and oh my god look at the amount of tears i'm shooting holy crap maybe i'm actually all totally all right i don't actually need the chaos card it turns out this is absolutely broken <laughs> turns out star bethlehem is a, a broken item and i always forget that it's like extremely powerful just absurdly yeah mm-hmm yeah it's it's just it's just really good you're not getting me with that buddy that's the oldest trick in the book i'm not falling for it yeah it turns out uh star bethlehem is bro uh, broken just unbelievably powerful. And I'm still gonna Chaos Card you anyway, because why not? <laughs> Just speed my life along a little bit, you know? Plus, if I happen to get a Void, the Chaos Card doesn't work on Delirium anyway, so it'd be wasted if I hadn't used it there! That being said, the run is over. I did not win the 50-50. Or lose, depending on your perspective, to be honest. You know, people don't really like the Void all that much. It's over, though! S see you tomorrow. Yeah!